Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Remember that old geezer with the walking stick and an arm bandage that we all thought had a broken hand not knowing he was hiding a lot of stolen Sharingans? Yes, that's right, I am talking about Danzo Shimura. Now, ever wondered why Danzo couldn't awaken the Rinnegan despite having Hashirama cells? In today's video, we will be answering those questions. Before we begin, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Danzo Shimura was an elder of Konohagakure and the founder and leader of Anbu Root organizations. Danzo gained a reputation as the darkness of the shinobi or shinobi no yami due to his frequent unauthorized actions and his suspected involvement in undermining certain individuals within Konoha, although solid evidence was rarely found. Despite engaging in suspicious activities for many years, Danzo always believed that he was acting in the best interest of the village. Following Pain's attack on Konoha, he was selected as the candidate for the position of the 6th Hokage or the Rokodaime Hokage Koho. However, before his official inauguration, Danzo fled from the 5 Kage Summit and ultimately met his demise in a battle against Sasuke Uchiha at the Samurai Bridge. Danzo, a member of the Shimura clan, was born to a shinobi father. He enrolled in the academy and was part of the early group of students to successfully graduate. During his time as a genin, he became acquainted with Hiruzen Sarutobi and their relationship soon turned into a rivalry competing against each other in various aspects. On one occasion, Danzo had the opportunity to witness the first Hokage, Hashirama, in a battle where he displayed his impressive wood-release ninjutsu. During the First Shinobi World War, Danzo found himself in a dire situation alongside Gagami Uchiha, Torifo Akimichi, and Team Tobirama as they were surrounded by Kumogakure's Kinkaku Squad. Recognizing the need for a sacrificial decoy to ensure the team's escape, Danzo struggled with the decision and hesitated to volunteer. However, before he could gather the courage, Hiruzen stepped forward and offered to take on the role. This left Danzo feeling a mix of relief and frustration as he considered himself weak. In a surprising turn of events, the second Hokage insisted on being the decoy instead, appointing Hiruzen as his successor much to Danzo's shock. Tobirama sacrificed his life, allowing the rest of the team to escape. With Hiruzen now occupying the position of Hokage, Danzo began plotting to eventually claim the title for himself. He took charge of covert operations within the village, a role that Hiruzen permitted due to his own indulgences. Danzo established a secretive organization called Root which operated under his direct command. Within this group, Danzo personally selected promising young shinobis to join its ranks. At some point, Danzo had several dealings with Orochimaru and even insisted that he replace Hiruzen Sarotobi as the fourth Hokage because in the anime, Hiruzen Sarotobi, the third Hokage, endeavored to bring an end to the extensive violence of the Third Shinobi World War by proposing a truce with the other villages. However, Danzo Shimura expressed his strong disapproval, believing that such an action would disrespect the memory of all the fallen Konoha Shinobi. Recognizing Danzo's intentions, Hiruzen made the decision to assume responsibility for the losses incurred and chose to step down as Hokage. However, this idea of Orochimaru being the next Hokage was strongly opposed by the third Hokage who then nominated Minato Namikaze to be the fourth Hokage. Orochimaru was in charge of embedding various Sharingans into the left hand of Danzo. And he did this by taking Shin's Sharingan embedded arm and placing it alongside some of Hashirama's cells onto that of Danzo's. Danzo, being the leader of Anbu Root, recruited potential shinobi like Yamato, also known as Kinoe, Torune Aburame, and many others. When the leaders of Konoha discovered that the Uchiha clan was planning a coup, Danzo took advantage of Itachi's peaceful nature and convinced him to spy on his own clan. Shisui, a loyal member of the Uchiha, proposed a plan to stop the coup peacefully by using his special ability on his clan members. And the Hokage agreed. However, Danzo wanting to protect the village in his own way didn't trust Shisui and stole his eye, causing Shisui to later take his own life. When the Hokage decided to resolve the situation without bloodshed, Danzo secretly met with Itachi and manipulated him into believing that killing his clan was the only way to save his younger brother, Sasuke, or else the entire clan would be killed in the coup. Sadly, Itachi reluctantly chose to wipe out his own family. 
After Itachi carried out the massacre, Danzo spread a false narrative claiming that Itachi had acted on his own volition, driven by a deep hatred for his clan and a desire for power. While most people believed this fabrication, Hiruzen, the village leader, saw through Danzo's lies and expressed his disgust at Danzo's actions. Hiruzen pointed out that the Uchiyas were an integral part of the village and had never shown any signs of treachery. Realizing he couldn't trust Danzo anymore due to his deceitful methods, Hiruzen immediately removed him from the council and disbanded his secretive root division. Later, a clone of Itachi disguised as a member of Root confronted Danzo, warning him that if he ever harmed Sasuke, he would expose Konoha's secrets to other nations. During this time, Danzo also had meetings with Tobi, the reason for which remained unknown. Despite the official disbandment of Root, Danzo continued to secretly maintain its operations throughout the years. After Tsunade succumbed to coma due to her being weakened by healing the injured villagers after Pain's assault, even though Shikaku Nara tried his hardest, Danzo managed to persuade the daimyo that the peaceful beliefs of the past Tokage had weakened Konoha. Danzo portrayed himself as the leader that the village presently required to uphold shinobi laws and establish global order. After thinking about it briefly, the daimyo agreed to make him a candidate for the position of the 6th Hokage. During a meeting between the Kages, Ao noticed that the chakra in Danzo's right arm had the same color as Shisui's. Danzo concealed his arm under bandages and a sealed gauntlet, likely to conserve chakra and maintain control over the eyes and DNA. Thanks to his integration of Hashirama cells, Danzo acquired the ability to heal almost any injury without using hand seals. Tobi mentioned that Danzo's possession of both Uchiha and Sanju's DNA potentially granted him the ability to control Kurama, the nine-tailed fox. During the meeting in the Land of Iron, Danzo didn't actively participate except for informing the other Kages about Madara Uchiha's involvement with the Akatsuki. Mifune proposed that the five Kage form an alliance with Danzo as their leader to eliminate the Akatsuki. However, during the discussion, Danzo was accused by the fourth Raikage of orchestrating the Konoha crush to get rid of Hiruzen and the fourth Kaze Kage. Before the situation escalated, White Zetsu appeared and revealed that Sasuke was nearby. Danzo and his bodyguards used the distraction to escape, with Ao pursuing them. They encountered Black Zetsu's clones but managed to defeat them. Danzo instructed Fu to stop Ao and retrieve his Byakugan, but ultimately failed in obtaining it. Danzo ended up fighting Sasuke in a brutal fight. At some point, Danzo convinced of his victory, instructed Sasuke to join forces with Itachi. However, he soon realized that Sasuke's genjutsu had deceived him into believing he had one more eye to evade a fatal strike. With depleted chakra and a new injury, Danzo lost control over his wood abilities, compelling him to sever his arm to prevent turning into a massive tree. Unwilling to accept defeat, Danzo took Karen hostage and planned to use Shisui's eye. Yet, Sasuke extended his Jidori sharp spear through Karen, impaling Danzo through the heart. Dying and weakened, Danzo approached Sasuke and Tobi reflecting on how he could never measure up to Hiruzen, even as the unofficial Hokage. In his final moments, he declared that he would take Sasuke and Tobi down with him to ensure the world's safety and the protection of Konoha. Activating the reverse for symbol sealing technique, Danzo attempted to trap them but Sasuke and Tobi managed to escape its range. Nonetheless, Danzo succeeded in destroying Shisui's Sharingan to prevent Tobi from acquiring it. Why couldn't Danzo activate the Renegan? Danzo did not awaken the Renegan because he is not a reincarnation of Indra. The process of awakening the Renegan, as explained in both the manga and anime, involves possessing a Sharingan being the reincarnation of Indra and acquiring chakra from the reincarnation of Ashura, the two sons of Hagoromo, the Sage of Six Paths. By combining the chakra from Ashura's reincarnate with their own, the Rinnegan can be awakened. If someone who is not an Indra reincarnate attempts what Danzo did, they would only gain abilities such as Izanagi spam and Mokuton or Wood style. In simpler terms, Danzo couldn't awaken the Rinnegan because he lacks the necessary conditions as an Indra reincarnate. Also, it's important to note that to awaken the Renegon, it is not only necessary to meet the specific requirements of being an Indra reincarnate and possessing a Sharingan but also to possess the competence and mastery over these powers. 
Madara, who had natural proficiency in Uchiha abilities and later gained mastery over Senju powers, was strong enough to awaken the Rinnegan. On the other hand, Danza, who underwent experiments and body modifications, did not possess the same level of natural ability. Additionally, there is an implication that awakening the Rinnegan requires being close to the end of one's lifespan. Danzo also obtained the Sharingan by forcibly taking them from Uchiha clan members, indicating that he is unlikely to awaken the Rinnegan through natural means. This is also why he always kept his Sharingan covered arm bandaged, as it helped prevent excessive chakra drain. Unlike Danzo, Madara Uchiha possessed the necessary qualities and circumstances for awakening the Rinnegan, which occurred towards the end of his life. Nagato, who belonged to the Uzumaki clan, had the Rinnegan implanted in him at a young age by Madara before the latter's death. Nagato's Uzumaki heritage played a significant role in his ability to handle the immense power of the Rinnegan with relative ease. Do you think these reasons are why he couldn't awaken the Rinnegan or was it just a plot hole by Kishimoto? Do let us know your opinions in the comment section below and thank you for watching.